Look at that. We're back for a third review today. We're going to do more. We're firing them off. Like I said, um, in this video, I'm going to talk about Primal Fear. Okay. Now, this is kind of cool. I've got, I don't know if there's another uh, version of the Blu ray, but this is the Hard Evidence Edition. I really like the look of that cover. At first, when I saw it, I was like, this is kind of weird, you know, um, but I definitely prefer it over the the DVD cover art, so I'm really happy with this edition. I really enjoyed the movie. Um, we're gonna get right into the plot, okay? It stars Richard Gere and Edward Norton, also a uh, young Wendy Bird, who, uh, that, you know, that's not the actress's name, but that's what I remember her from or recognize her from. Uh, I watched this with Lila maybe uh, two or three days ago, I think. Anyway, the plot is basically about the murder, the murder of a archbishop, okay? Uh, this religious character is sort of brutally killed in his home. Uh, Edward Norton's character is found fleeing from the scene, covered in blood. Uh, his story is that he doesn't remember what happened, but there was someone else in the in the room with him. So there's a cool mystery there. Uh, Richard Gere's character is a defense attorney, so he steps into the uh, equation and defends uh, Edward Norton in court. So the movie ends up being about uh, Richard Gere defending Edward Norton, trying to prove his innocence, and seeing if he believes that he's innocent, you know, um, there's a personal struggle, uh, between, between Richard Gere and his, in the case, uh, I guess you could say, you know, he, he's conflicted on whether he thinks, uh, Edward Norton did the killing or whether he thinks that, um, he, he didn't, you know, so, so as an, as an audience member, you kind of, you kind of, uh, feel with, Richard Gere's character because you're you're going along with them trying to figure out if if he's innocent or if he's guilty and that that I really enjoyed a lot just like just like my review for wild things I like a movie where you're trying to figure out did they do it or did they not you know um did they or didn't they but um anyway uh my favorite things about the movie were the court scenes I really like the um I liked the well, what would you call it? Uh, the way things unfold in court. I like the the back and forth dialogue. I thought that was really good. I like um, it, all the lawyer talk was interesting. It's frustrating at times, but I, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, my favorite parts were the court um, the court scenes. I also like, uh, as I had said before, uh, trying to figure out you know what I feel about about the. Uh, main character, the accused. Um, so I thought I thought it was fun to kind of go along with Richard Gere and and see what I think. You know, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, did he? Did he not? Um, you know, you go back and forth. Uh, I thought that was very entertaining. Also, Richard Gere is very well done in the movie. His performance is great. Um, I really liked the um, the sort of the sort of vibe between Richard Gere and uh, I'm just going to say Wendy Bird because I don't know the actress's name. Oops. Oops. You know, I wish I knew. Um, anyway, uh, I really liked uh, those two characters and how they, how they interact with each other. They have a sort of, a sort of romance, but not really, you know, there's, there's this reoccurring theme there that sort of, provided a lightness or a relief from the the crime and and drama and brutal elements or whatever you want to call it all in all I really like the movie I don't really I, I guess I have a slight problem with the the way the the movie wrapped up at the very end I'm talking like the last scene I really like the twists and turns um like I said the last scene I just have a very like minor issue with I I I wish that I got a little more backstory and wrapping up uh, the the movie um I wanted to see more of what happened with certain characters but I get why they 
they ended the movie the way they did, and it was really effective. So all in all, I really did like the movie, and I will watch it again, obviously. Um, oh, uh, this is kind of cool. The cover says, uh, warning, warning, serves up twist after twist. That's kind of um, that's kind of funny. But um, anyway, that's basically my review for Primal Fear. Um, I don't know what I would rate it out of 10, but it was really well done, and I'm sure the majority of people who watch this will, will enjoy it. Anyway, that concludes my review. Go check out Primal Fear if you haven't already, and you know, if... If you like the video, tell me. Tell me you like it, you know. Leave a like if, if you will, you know. Uh, but you don't have to do anything.